there's good news that inflation is now trending below 2%. I got this information from a Yahoo Finance article written by a senior editor by the name of Ethan Wolf Mann. In this article, some key points read as follows. The Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Index showed July's prices, excluding volatile food and energy, rose 0.2% from the prior month, in line with expectations. With that metric confirmed, a very important thing has happened. The Fed's preferred inflation gauge is back to trending below 2%, the Fed's target and holy grail of the past two years. And as you can see in this chart, we have trended below 2% twice before in late 2023 and early 2024. Some inflation is good for the economy, but steep inflation will erode purchasing power and deflation will stagnate economic growth as consumers try to hold off on spending. Inflation is caused by different factors and no president directly affects inflation. The Federal Reserve is directly tasked with moderating inflation and the money supply. Supply and demand issues can greatly influence inflation outside of the Federal Reserve simply printing out more money. Another part of the article reads, In the near term, the results don't change much as Fed Chair Jerome Powell has already signaled a rate cut is coming at the conclusion of the Fed's September meeting. But if this trend indeed solidifies, say, towards the six-month time frame and beyond, more humdrum inflation releases will mean more flexibility for the Fed as it decides exactly how to budget and pace out its cuts. So the Federal Reserve is trying to moderate inflation while keeping the economy growing. I know there are some out there who are pushing propaganda that the U.S. is a failing nation. But since the pandemic ended, the U.S., has actually outperformed all major economies and recovered the fastest. There are some things that the government can do to combat inflation, and the FTC is doing just that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below about ways you think the government could help control inflation. Walmart, Walgreens, and Amazon are three corporations who have already been targeted by the FTC for price gouging and prices are falling. More can be done though by breaking up big corporations and halting mergers that create bigger corporations. Some of you may have even heard me say that in the previous video. I left a link in the description for anyone interested in reading the full article. So until the next video, take care, have a great rest of your day and peace out.